Hey, what's going on, Manny? Not much. Things going good, you? Doing good, doing good. So uh, we just uh, met uh, yesterday. Uh, I want to yeah. tell the people of the world how we met. Through my friend, and I guess you could say um, my distributor, Eli. Oh, a distributor in? Advocare. Advocare, cool. And I told you a little bit about myself. You want to tell the people about yourself and you know how we met and why we met. What are you looking to do? You know, I asked you a specific question. I said, "Hey, yesterday you walked in the door." I said, "Manny, in a perfect world, one year from now, what's the perfect outcome of our meeting, of us meeting and working together?" Well, the perfect outcome for ad working or not working for, but trying the products with Advocare. My goal is to lose some of my stomach fat as well as maybe tone up my arms a little bit. That's for short term. But for long term, if I do stick with Advocare, I would like to become one day a distributor and make some profit on it, out of it. Make a little extra income? Yeah. Maybe a uh, for a rent or a cell phone bill or something like that? Yeah. Cool. And I told you a little bit of how, you know, we I have some people on my team that are doing exactly that. Yeah, I remember. Awesome. Very cool. Very cool. Now that said, uh, so how long have you wanted to achieve the goal of getting in better shape? How long have you actually wanted that? Uh, how long? It's more like, give or take, two, three years. So ever since I moved down here to the valley. You know, because it's like, every, every, when I would go to school, it was just kind of, I would see like at least half the school, if not more, like if the guys were like in shape, had like, like six pack or pretty close. Where was this at? Uh, Lavia High School. Okay, they had six pack, okay. Most of them would like have like a six pack or at least be in good shape and I'm like I'm over here like like I'm like oh and so we're gonna get that right now right yeah now you're gonna about do a 24 day I'm gonna say the word challenge there's gonna be a challenge right yep. so if it's a challenge what are you looking to sacrifice to get what you want because let's face it I'm gonna tell you straight up I coach people for I coach people to get what they want I give people to, I coach people for a long time to get in better shape let's face it to get what you want in fitness in life there's a sacrifice, there's a pet price to be paid. So you just bought the products, you became a preferred customer, got them at 20% off, that's good. Yep. Now, so you've already invested to an ideal. January 1st is about two, three days away. Yep. That said, what are you gonna sacrifice to get what you want? Well, I already know my goals, I know what we'll I have to do. Like, for losing the midsection, it's just pretty much drinking more water, cutting out soda, and just doing cardio, which is just basically running. As well as, at least kind of like start, kind of quit smoking. Okay. Kind of quit, okay, so. Yeah, just so, so I'm not like, just so I'm not like fiending for it like every other few hours, you know, just like maybe once a day to the point where I'm doing it to like only once a week to the point where I can eventually quit. Okay, all right, so that sounds good, that sounds good. And so you're gonna run, you give up sodas, you're gonna give up sodas? Yeah. So I mean, sodas for sure? Yeah, January 1st. January 1st, no soda. How much sodas do you drink right now? Uh, it depends. A day, a day or a month, however you wanna cut it. Uh, in a day? Maybe like one or two like cans or like the 12 ounce. And that's like 500 calories. Yeah. No. Nope. Well, yeah, give or take. Give or take, yeah. About yeah. 200 calories per can or so. Because my favorite drink is the vanilla Coke. Like the 16 ounce from like uh, Stripes. So it's or, even more. It's even actually, more. I, I, looked, I actually did a comparison actually. Uh, Nature Valley, the granola bars, the green one. If you compare the calories from that to the vanilla Coke, like the can, it's, if I remember correctly, the can of vanilla Coke has 150 calories, while the granola bar has 170 calories. Okay, what's, what I really like about what you said there, uh, actually I'm gonna step in, remember I told you, I told you I'd step in here? So yeah. they could, I just thought about the sound here. So I don't even know I'm in the frame here, give me a second. Okay, so actually one thing I noticed about what you said is that, um, so you said something about the granola. So, it, so which one is better though? Which one is better, the granola or the Coke? Well, calories wise, the Coke is, but if you're actually like looking at like what it will do to your body, the granola bar would probably be better. Yeah, so that's actually a big step. So I really like that yeah. we're getting you on a uh, record. You had no idea you were gonna say that, and I'm really liking that you said that because it's like, okay, so if Manny is having a debate over which one is better. I mean, uh, I already know that like soda is bad for you because it's like people who drink soda every day, because I saw a video the other day on Facebook where it's like, they had like, some guy had like kidney stones, but they he couldn't like really oh, get yeah. it out. And it was because he would drink soda like, more than I would, but if he drank so much that they actually had to do surgery and put a, cut a hole like in his kidney and you just see like a hand or two handfuls worth of the like, kidney stones like fall out and it's just kind of like- Oh yeah, uh, I think I saw that one, that was gross. Yeah, so it's just kind of like, that's why like, I want to keep the, the soda intake low like how it is now or if anything just to 
uh, get rid of it. But at the same time, you know, just it's just so it's like a little bit of a caffeine, not so like crazy. But now you have spark. You, but I'm oh, yeah. spark. You have 42 servings there. Mm -hmm. So now you can go to spark instead of Coke, and it's only got 15 calories. Yeah, sounds a lot better. It's a lot better. Yep. Okay, so we got a solution for the Coke. And what about exercise? What's your solution for the exercise? What do you, where are you gonna work out at? Well, if anything, I can probably work out at the, what is it, the football stadium in Livia. Even at that, it's like, if I don't have a car, so I can go walking. So walking from my so house. So running is gonna be your main thing. So that's what I'm understanding. You're mainly gonna be running. Yeah, mainly running, but if I can also get some sort of like arm workouts while I'm there too, like, like do a lap and then once I stop for the Maybe one lap. Push -up, push ups are free in there. Yeah. You can do those. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do either. Like just once I do one lap, take like my little break. But as, well, as I'm taking my like break from cardio, do like some work, arm workout, whether it's push ups or uh, what do they call it? Like body ups, I think. Okay, so question is this You can move burpees. Burpees, where you just yep. jump up and get on the floor, you jump back up. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, the reason I'm going through this with you is because I want to establish where you're at. What do you weigh right now? I weigh about 150, 160. When was the last time you weighed yourself? Uh, I don't even know. I don't. We don't have a scale at home. Eli, would you, would you go under here? Underneath there's a scale right here underneath the couch. We're gonna get you on the scale right now. That way, that way it's done. Okay. Um, okay. So we're gonna get on you on the scale, and it's gonna be a little dusty because it's been in there for a while. But go ahead and just hop on. Do I take off my shoes or leave them on? Well, I mean, we, yeah, take them off real quick. Just or, or jump on, jump on. We're getting we're we're live here, so we don't want to take too long. Okay. What does it but say? One fifty. 149, no? No, 150. Oh, yeah, 150. Oh, you're closer to 160. Yeah. What does it say, Eli? Like 156, 157? Yeah, 156, 157. Oh, 156, 157. Okay, come back yeah. in the shop. Okay, so you, we know your weight. Okay, and what size jeans are you wearing right now? Uh, 32. 32? So we'll get a quick measurement on your waist here in a bit. So give, we'll get that here, in, not on the shot here, because you know, we don't have the measures. Okay, we got that. So, and what are you looking to do? Cause you know I'm a coach. I coach people for real. Like it's not like a maybe I coach. I've coached people for real. Yeah. <laughs> so so that said, uh, so we know where you're at. We know what you want to sacrifice, which is the cokes. We know what you're gonna do running. So it needs to be very clear here. Uh, we know you're. We have a game plan for your nutrition. You know what food you're gonna get. Hey, Eli, you want to get us the the manual real quick, so so we can show the people. Okay. So you know you actually have your grocery list right here. So you, Manny has selected his grocery list. What he's gonna be having, like he selected chicken breast, eggs, ground beef, broccoli, uh, avocado. You know, he's he's he knows exactly what to buy, right? Yep. So he has a game plan of what to eat. He is exercise. The main components are exercise, nutrition, mm -hmm. um, exercise, nutrition, and supplements. And you got supplements too. Yep. So you're good. You're good to go. Uh, so now what? Now let's look at the game plan as far as your actual exercise. Twenty four days here. Because really, all we're setting you up for is day 25. The 24 day challenge is to get you winning for day 25, right? Mm -hmm. Because we're gonna we're, we're gonna go a year and we're 20, it's gonna be 20 close to 2018 when we're gonna say okay, what if you know we're look at monthly, quarterly, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So now that said, what are you really gonna do in that exercise? What are you really gonna do for running? What are you really gonna do? Well, because what I was thinking, because there's gonna be at a football field, so distance, it's gonna, yeah, distance. Yeah, so I was thinking like maybe. You know, trying to get back into it, because I did run before, but trying to get back into it, maybe like that first or second day, do like a mile, mile and a half, maybe two miles, depending how much energy I have, which if I take the spark beforehand, I'm pretty sure I can go for two miles. So how about this? How about go one mile, one mile minimum, two miles max? Yeah, good start. That's a good start. And then the next day, see where you're at. Now, I'm gonna tell you, because I've ran for a while, you expect some chin areas. If you have run in a while, expect some knee adjustments and stuff like yeah. that. So let's get you going. So that we have a game plan going, maybe some workout videos at home, maybe you buy a DVD, maybe we'll, I'll send you some links, but we gotta get you going because we gotta get you successful to get, because I said, the, I, your ideal situation is your midsection, is that, that's the, the minimum of what we're gonna do, that's our minimum goal. Yeah, making an extra income with Avocare, sure, when that's time, maybe maybe 30 days from now, maybe 10 days from now, maybe two months from now, it doesn't matter. But yeah. first and foremost, let's get you in shape. Yeah. Okay? Sounds good. Awesome. So this is Manny. The date today is the 30th of December, 2016. Uh, my friend Eli introduced me to Eli Guerrero. Get introduced here. me to him. Today's the Rousey Rousey fight, and let's have a good day. Manny, you want to have any last words to say to the people before we sign off here? 
Um, I don't really have anything really. Just hope you guys enjoy your day. Awesome. This is Jacob Adams signing off. See you next time. Keep it real. Bye.